friends welcome to create december it's december 1st 2022 i am really really excited to be here bringing you this um daily art challenge in december it's so exciting i am using an insert from paper house it's a creamy dotted color i have lost the cover <laughs> i'm housing it in a craft envelope um for create december i'm really excited i've also removed the staples so that i can play around with the pages um as i need you know throughout the month um and then we'll we'll bind it or we'll you know keep it all together don't you worry about that. We are starting this off with um, day one. The prompt is tradition. And so for me personally, Create December has already become a tradition. Um, this is my fifth year participating. Um, it is my very first time co-hosting um, alongside Brie of Documented Journey, who put together the awesome challenge in the first place um i'm pretty sure it was uh 2018 when she started putting um the 25 prompts together and um you know i just thought it was a really cool idea to do a little memory keeping you know the last month of the year um it's also a great place to like do a little scrapbooking memory keeping hand lettering journaling um so many amazing ways you can participate in this challenge i love challenges i love prompts i love being told what to do <laughs> um it allows my imagination to run wild within um you know a designated area and i really thrive in that sort of way the world is overwhelming the Im my imagination is overwhelming so i kind of need a little bit of a, a guide and so prompts for me are awesome challenges are awesome and so having um this challenge housed in a standard tn size is perfect because um if you guys have been following uh my kind of uh, projects this year they've all been in this standard TN size so I'm really really excited um, to be here with my Mitsubishi pencil in vermilion I get these um, on jet pens and uh, yeah I asked over on Instagram because I last year I don't not not on purpose but it just kind of happened that I had this idea to do a Charlie Brown concept and that really worked out really super well years previous I had kind of like um it was more like what I was using was kind of like the project in and of itself and or hand lettering was the project anyways I wanted to have like a theme and um and I asked over on Instagram and <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you know it Brie answered you are the theme make it what you want and so I took that very very literally and during my live I spent a lot of time just dancing around and like um just really really excited and exuberant and just so much energy for the like really really pumped for day one um so I took uh I took a s snapshot of me dancing around <laughs> and that is what we're drawing here um this is a little bit of that um figure drawing from march that i've really been um keeping up with like whenever i haven't sketched a lot i've got to be honest with you guys but when i have wanted to do something it's usually been um a figure and that's awesome because I spent a lot of time drawing flowers in the past. I also spent a lot of time drawing Annie's digitally in the past. So uh, if this is my kind of like figure drawing era, then I'm here for it. Um, it's funny because I'm literally wearing this <laughs> as I'm drawing it. So it's cute. And... Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, what else can we talk about? Um, I know I've limited my palette. I will be talking a little bit about um, what I'm using, the color palette that I've chosen for myself. I just want to give myself a couple more days to really be in it, to really see what I'm gravitating towards uh, before I actually, you know, proclaim this is it. <laughs> so be patient with me. However, you will, of course, see what I'm using, of course. I don't go out of my way to get new things. I'm using what I already have. I am actually just um, limiting the amount. So instead of using all of my Tombos, I'm going to pick a few. Instead of using all my watercolors, I'm just going to choose a few colors. Right now, um, I have eight or ten. I can't remember exactly how many. Uh, we all know that I always start with either the Mitsubishi pencil or the rainbow pencil and that's probably going to be true throughout and I like to ink my watercolor with these um, this uh, platinum carbon ink that's sitting right there all shiny and beautiful next to my hand um, are we here yet yes so I have a bit of a bit of hesitation right around here when I'm doing the the face because um, I am challenging myself to simplify um, and it didn't work out so it just it was too simple <laughs> so I didn't like the face so I decided not to show you guys spare you guys the extra minutes of footage and we will go back in and work on that however the um, the design on my sweatshirt uh, is something that I really wanted to incorporate since it is uh, I made a big deal to wear like a, one of my Christmas sweatshirts um, for today so that's also kind of like a tradition you know my, my Christmas sweatshirts um, I love a sweatshirt I love a pullover I love a hoodie sweater weather all the way so here's Snoopy and his little friend Woodstock and they're just hugging and I kept the design simpler than what it actually is. You know, take a little bit of that uh, artistic license, just make myself, you know, give the illusion that, you know, I know what I'm talking about, but um, it's there. It's there and I'm happy. So we've got it all in there now. Ready, set, magic. I erased. I'm not a big fan of erasing my work because um, I believe that the pencil lines are, you know, a part of all of it. I like that the pencil lines show through because it's it's part of my work. It's how we got there. It's the roadmap to the whole thing. So, but on rare occasion when I am in Ugh, I really don't like something then I did go in and erase it the face and this one is much much better plus it's the authentic um, expression <laughs> <on my face. laughs> I mean, that's what was bothering me is that the other one was just like meh and this one's like yeah weppa. but if you know me you know it's true all right we're switching over to hand lettering. Um, I don't work linear and, uh, you know, I love that about me. I understand that about me. Uh, I'm using a Tombow Furunosuke. I opted to go with the um, soft tip. It's my favorite. It's always been my favorite. Um, but also since I have plenty of space, uh, I figured, you know, I can go wild and, you know, it's also been a while since I've hand lettered. So as you can see, I'm, I'm fixing up, I'm touching up the O, uh, but uh, I did well. I mean, I like it. And here I go. So in homage 
to Brie. <laughs> I'm using my um, my ballpoint ballograph um, pen to journal and really dive deep uh, into what tradition means to me. I got a whole like page of journaling. I'm I you know I'm not a great writer, but I try. I like to I like to make myself um, you know uncomfortable and try new things. Try things that make that I don't gravitate towards. It's important. Uh, I've talked so much, and this part of the video is actually really quiet because the kids had already gone to bed, and it was just me and the watercolor and the paper. And from now here on in, it's just scratchy sounds of the night. So I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you watch the rest of it. I am going to watercolor real time. And then I'm going to walk you through the inking process. And then we'll do some splatter at the end. So I hope you stick with it. Um, you know, set up some music of your own and enjoy. If you, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question at the end of this video. Um, so we'll see, we'll see who watches till the end. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Hey guys, it's voiceover me checking in to see who's still watching. If you're still watching, make sure to leave a red heart in the comment section to let me know that you've noticed that I forgot to color in Snoopy and his friend Wedstock. I end up having to go back in with color pencil, but that's not on video. So red heart in the comments if you're still watching love you so much thank you so much for spending your time watching what i do i'll be here all month long let's create december together find me over on instagram and follow the hashtag listen to that bye bye guys